What's up guys, Clay here. We just finished up at Brian Savage's house on his Sonoma, finishing up the stock floor body drop. Nah. Started the day off, Robbie V from Switch Suspension came by. Yeah, I was just out cruising uh, Saturday morning and, and heard these guys were gonna be working on the truck, so I figured I'd stop by, check it out. I'm excited, I'm stoked. It's been a long journey to get this far. Uh, still got a lot of work left to do. But hey man, it's progress, you know what I mean? It's another day in the books. I'm just finally happy that the framework, the hard part basically is done, so uh, yeah. Killer work they've been doing on this truck. I've been watching it a lot on social media and stuff, so it was really cool to, to stop and, and actually see it in person. You want me to tack those up right now? Oh, I'm just putting it up there. I was gonna weld this cross member. Uh, what we're doing right now, we're just making his, uh, we're just mounting up his compressor plates, really. Guys, look at Trevor go. Look at him go. He has the endo tank mount already done. So we're just uh, welding everything up, finishing things up. I'm doing the carry brand cross member as well. I'm finished welding that. It looks good, dude. That looks really good. I'm stoked. Um, everything from the top should be finished, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna flip the chassis over and finish everything from the bottom. <laughs> that way when he flips it back, he can start full assembly and plumbing, wiring, motor install, cab done, driving, tomorrow. Yeah, I've been dragging the shit out of it, in and out of the driveway. All right, Saturday, uh, May 18th, 2019. Perfect Poise, Cruise of the Pines. Uh, presented by Switch Suspension. Make sure you guys are up there. Beautiful venue, beautiful place, awesome show, good people. Come have some fun. Yeah, in Utah, it's not a whole, a real big mini truck scene, so it's kind of cool to come out and see, you know, some different builds other than just C10s. Uh, I dig it. Whatever, I, I'm into, I'm into everything. So left a little drain hole, so that way any water that gets into the frame come right out the bottom. I'm from like, what do you call that? A hillbilly, redneck. Yeah. <laughs> Originally from Heber City, Utah, and moved out here about a year and a half ago. From a small town, you know, we, quite a few hillbillies and rednecks doing demolition derby. So uh, that's kind of where I learned to weld and fabricate. And so now I'm crossing over into the custom trucks. A shout out to, you know, uh, Trevor and Clay for coming over and putting in a lot of hard work, a lot of labor, a lot of man hours. Super appreciative of that. Anybody that's helped come over in the, you know, in the off times when they're not working, helping me get to get things ready and get things prepped so they can come over and try and make it as easy as easy as we can for them to just come in and do what they're doing. The purple was horrible, yes. I concur. Anybody that's ever helped turn a wrench, hang out, keep company, you know what I mean? Anybody that's ever come over, I appreciate everybody's help, so thank you very much. What's up guys, Clay here. Came through, sure we got the Vi Air compressor mouth welded to the frame, we got the AccuAir tank mount welded to the frame. We got the transmission mount installed. We got the carrier bearing cross member installed. The transmission cross member installed. We got the front frame horns fully welded up and boxed up. We did a couple plates, did a 90 degree bend, some things, you know. Trevor did his thing where he closed his eyes, he hibernated and he woke up and he had a bunch of cool welds. Yeah, it's definitely, it's gonna be fucking sick, man. It's for sure. I like how Brian's truck's coming out. I like all the box parts. I like how we involve Jason Thorbeck's parts in, in it. I like the Thorbeck arms. Need to get me some Thorbeck arms. I wanna thank Trevor for putting up with me because I can be a real asshole sometimes. Yeah, Trevor, I'm surprised he didn't tell me to fucking bite the dirt a long time ago. But thanks, Trevor. That's a wrap for today. Make sure you stay tuned to the next episode of the Low Life Show. performance we strive to have the best customer service and product selection for your 55 to 98 gm trucks i would recommend our pro performance revelator big brake kit to your c10 offering wheels brakes suspension and accessories we have all the top brands to help build your dream truck offering products from accuair chop and block bear brakes boyd welding curry ride tech dakota digital vintage air and more just to name a few We've been in the industry for over 15 years, so have the knowledge to make sure you're selecting the right parts for your build. 
Give us a call to see how we can help on your project or check out our website at azproperformance.com. Probably 94 S10 with my brothers. We cut it up. Master Image Customs. The 36.4 came in a couple weeks ago. Uh, we put it up on the chassis table. We're going to lock it down and we're going to start building a four link, a custom four link with the Canadian chassis component kit that they sell, then we're going to uh, do a disc brake conversion and coilovers. So the whole back of the car is pretty much going to be brand new. It smells like blue rubber. Doesn't it? All right, hey, yeah, the name is uh, Mike Johnson. Uh, <clears throat> this is my 36 Ford. I've had the car for about 15 years. When I picked the car up, it was rust-free Arizona car, and all I wanted to do was get it done, and wasn't thinking about all the good stuff, so 15 years later, here we are having Mario uh, four-link it, coil over, and putting this thing together like it's supposed to be. I mean, this, they, call the, they call Stanton the crossroads of Adventureland. There's Disneyland's right there, Knott's, uh, the beach, all the shit. I like the 36, I like the way the headlights are. I like the gangster looking style of a car. So Mario, I'm looking at these. What a difference between the other ones. Big difference. My God, I Here. can't believe it. Standard, nothing wrong with them. Yeah. You know, they're, uh, they work, they work just good. Yeah, but these, I mean, they just look so much uh, beefier quality. and better all quality. All, uh, this is all CNC. Really? Cut out. Wow. Um, great materials, everything looks yeah, great. Yeah, with that and putting that Alden shock on there. Alden shocks. And then disc brakes on the back. Sure. Around the front. What up? I'm Nick Valencia. Master fabricator here at Charlie's Speed Shop, born and raised in Stanton, California. Been welding since, I don't know, five. Still going at it. We didn't know much about it. We were like kids, you know, 16 years old. And uh, I didn't weld the the buckets to the bottom of the arm. So we were driving and the thing just kept shifting around and it fucking rubbed up against the, the, uh, the spindle and it blew out. So, 
and of course I've got an arc light shirt on today. <laughs> so my name's Jason Bowman. You're here at my shop, Big Ten Garage. Oh, I got a locked up wheel. I am formerly the shop foreman over at Arclight Fab with Aaron Kaufman. Uh, we did a show on Discovery Channel called Shifting Gears. 12 episodes, we built a Scout four-wheel drive deal that we took to King of the Hammers and had a really good time with. We built a 1931 Model A uh, a drag car essentially, but for the sand. So it was for uh, TROG, which is uh, stands for the Race of the Gentlemen. We took that up to New Jersey and raced on the beach and I can't tell you how much fun that was. A 31 Model A frame rails with a uh, flathead Ford motor in it that I put a cam in, built some little zoomy headers and it was awesome. So I'm, I'm Jason Bowman. This is my shop, Big Ten Garage. Jam-packed as you can see. I have projects, projects, and more projects going on. So this 77 Dually right here, this is my dad's truck. Cody Jinx is really good. He's, he's not real well known, but he's really good dude. Getting a Duramax swap, big wheels, a uh, switch suspension drop setup on it, Vibro Solutions, sound dampening stuff, Dom. Uh, D-Bomb did the uh, seat for it. We've got all the Cheyenne pickup parts, interior stuff for it. So. This thing is going to be crazy nice when it's all done. The patina paint and all that stuff, it'll tie it all together real well. And uh, this thing's going to rock. I've got Chris Driscoll's big old monster truck here. Brian uh, Bird, as most people know him, Zaccardi built. He put this truck together. He's been doing it for a couple of years here. It's got a bunch of Porter built stuff on it. It's got the big wheels on it. I got to build the exhaust for it. I got to do intake tube and the radiator tubes. I've never used the Spectre stuff before. And then it's going to go back over to Brian. So it's just a, it's an LY6, six liter, uh, rectangle port motor. I put a cam in it a while back. It's a, out of a 2008 and up 2500 HD. This truck also has the, the 6L90E transmission in it. This truck rides on full porter built and AccuAir, uh, long tube headers. I got to build the exhaust for it. It, it should make go in the low fours for horsepower. This is, uh, this is Sam Castronova's truck. Palo Verde Shot Creek Company here in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, it's been around, it was in a backyard for a long time. Um, Sam got a hold of it. It was originally a uh, C20 um, work truck, but now it's three different trucks to make one truck. So we've got the cab, the front end is off of one truck, the frame's off another truck, and the bed is off of another truck. <laughs> oh, I'm a stick, you're gonna be like, I'm a stickler of details. Yeah. Uh, he's a local guy here in, in Arizona, and he likes, old patina um he if you ask him he's probably the uh the king of patina <laughs> is it, if he would call himself that yeah his dad was a junkyard man and uh, he's a junkyard kid and he his dad uh taught him a lot about or or he learned himself through his dad's you know discipline and hustle well i'll give you a little bit uh a little background on some of the trucks that i've done at least some of the most uh popular trucks and uh, if you haven't seen them um, just Google it and you'll see. Uh, trucks all done by the usual suspects again. You've got Delmo Speed, who I've done the 68 service body, we call Angelo, designed by Brian Stupski, but that's that just beautiful truck that um, Hot Rod shot, didn't want to publish, and then the truck disappeared. Long story, it's all available online. Also, did a couple of SEMA vehicles. The most recent would be 79 C-, gold in the AccuAir booth. Just beautiful truck and that had the Roadster Shop chassis. So this truck he found with the Square Buddy Syndica guys and it was in a backyard and it belonged to a, a local uh, shotcrete company here in Arizona named uh, Palo Verde Shotcrete. The, the story goes the truck was actually a service truck for this company for a while. It, it obviously got replaced by newer modern stuff and this one was kind of a survivor sitting in the back so um, Sam got together with uh, Delmo and he picked up a frame for it. So this has chop and block front and rear sections on a fact with, you know, that are, that are put on a factory frame. Um, they had originally put this thing together with a big block in it, but the big block had, um, had a bad main bearing, or uh, sorry, rod bearing. Sam always wanted to put a, an LS in it anyway, so he didn't, he didn't mind that the big block was bad. What, what I've done here is it's got a, a 5.3 LS motor in it, LM7. I've kind of made it 
look like a small block. So this one's got, uh, it has a distributor on it, it has a coil in it, and both of them are obviously dummies. I'm gonna get a, a beer tap on it, and it's gonna be just a fun truck. It's got a Boyd tank in it, so obviously the Boyd tank back here with the, uh, with the filler neck is, is way in the back, so that'll end up coming through the bed floor. So we needed something to do with the factory, uh, factory filler necks on the side of the truck. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, these aren't gonna be them, but I'm gonna get factory gas caps for it, and I'm gonna put them on a hinge so that when it's sitting still, it looks like a gas filler. When it starts, it'll just kind of do like the old semi truck, you know, flap flap thing, and it'll you know, just be fun. Fun. People, I think people enjoy it. So, this back here in this door, we're gonna do a, a pony keg and a uh, little small CO2 tank, and then they make. There's a company. They take the yellow work site coolers and they do. They put coils in them. And then you can hook that to your keg, and then it has a tap on, tap handle on it. So it'd be just, you know, it'll be a little tap handle back here, and you know the truck will kind of carry a little beer, beer and things like that. It's got these uh, these crazy. I, I've never seen another set of Kragers before. They're 18s, uh, the Krager SSs, and they're I don't I don't know where to find them anymore. I don't know if they make them anymore. I don't know if they made one set, but I've never seen another set. So they're they're super cool. And then Sam had the white walls made. It's running Dakota Digital instrument cluster in here it's the syndicate series instrument cluster so um, they actually just came out with a new newer version of this cluster um, this is the older uh, the, the first gen but now the second gen has just a couple little changes and things like that but it still holds true to the original style of cluster that would have been in this truck it's gonna go to SEMA we're gonna play with it party with it it's not gonna be at SEMA uh, in the show per se but it'll be outside I think we're gonna do a little get together and kind of hang out with some C10 guys so that's the story on that truck. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the Low Life Show. Stay tuned for next episode because we're gonna be installing these Magnaflow mufflers on this custom exhaust that I'm building. Custom X pipe, dumps, full, tons of stainless. All right, stay tuned. <laughs>